Hi and welcome to our channel. My name is Julian and this is Mitri. Hello everyone. We're discussing fragrances here and if you enjoy this topic, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Today we'll talk about a few fragrances from a fragrance house that's called... Sherwood uh, Parfums. Uh, it's from India. It's uh, very rare. Uh, fragrance house. Uh, the owner of the brand and uh, perfumer is Prakar Gupta or Gupta, sorry uh, for uh, my pronunciation. Uh, so we have four fragrances here and uh, they all are excellent. I think uh, the ingredients are very high quality. They all contain uh, very high amounts of uh, natural ingredients. Yeah, I don't know exactly if they are 100% natural or not, but the uh, amount of uh, naturals are very high in this. Mm. So, uh, I, wa I wanted to show you the presentation quickly and uh, then we'll uh, discuss each of these fragrances uh, uh, separately. Uh, but uh, before we move, I wanted to thank uh, our subscriber, uh, Pavel, with uh, whom we met in uh, our city in Riga. And uh, these fragrances are not ours. Uh, they are uh, from Pavel's uh, uh, collection. Mm -hmm. yeah. He bought them uh, for himself, but he just gave me to wear them uh, a couple of times. And uh, we decided to uh, share, mm -hmm. share the video with you to film it. Yeah, so this uh, video is not sponsored or anything like that. We haven't bought them even uh, so they are not ours mm -hmm. yeah and uh, after video i will uh, uh, give them back uh, to pile yep. so the fragrances are first one Fantastic. I love this fragrance. It was Gentleman. And the second one is Vetiver Real. So. Let's start with uh, the fragrance, which was apparently discontinued, and it's called Tsai. Tsar. 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 <laughs> it's like the Caesar or uh, King, Emperor. Yeah. Okay, you can say maybe something good about this fragrance uh, so, uh, or anything? So, when I first sprayed it, uh, Pavel, uh, our subscriber, uh, asked me, uh, does it remind you of something? I smelled it and kind of reminds me, but I don't remember. And he told me that uh, this fragrance reminds him of uh, Shalimar by uh, Guerlain. And I kind of see that uh, it has uh, beautiful citruses in the opening uh, and uh, vanilla with uh, a lot of uh, animalics uh, in the dry down. Uh, to me, it's kind of animalic shipra with beautiful opening, but then it becomes a little bit more challenging. Actually, this is the most challenging uh, from these four uh, to us. I don't know if, if I would wear it, 
but I think as a composition it's great. Mm -hmm. it smells very high quality and natural, uh, but uh, the animalics are too much for my taste, I guess. Yes, I nodded when you say said that it smells great, so uh, that wasn't intentional, I was just nodding, you know? <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> I did not want to note uh, at that time, so I have to say that I'm not enjoying this fragrance. Um, as always, we're honest in our reviews and um, this is not something that I would wear or, or it's not something that I would want to smell on someone else because uh, um, I can see that somewhere underneath there might be some beautiful parts of this fragrance but the animalics here, the ambergris uh, with this sort of, you know, like this uh, fecal notes uh, it's so overpowering for me that all of this other beauty is just gone and uh, I can see some, that some people might appreciate the scent if uh, they're into animalics, they like this uh, like dirty kind of uh, smelling ambergris, uh, they like their fecal kind of notes. C yes. See that, Castorium, yeah. Yes, if you like those, I think that you might find this very beautiful because uh, it's got other truly beautiful notes as well. It, it, but, it has a lot of florals, so citruses, mm -hmm. uh, it has a proper uh, uh, shipper structure with a lot of animalics. It yeah. has a lot of labdanum, opmas. Yes, but if you're like me, if uh, this uh, animalicness is putting you off as well, so you will probably not like it. I would not wear this fragrance myself. Mm. When I sprayed it uh, for the first time, it reminded me of uh, after maybe two hours uh, after spraying, it reminded me of uh, some element from uh, Jubilation 25 for women from Amoash. Yes, this, I was uh, surprised. Shipra, heavy Shipra style. I was surprised when Dmitri told me this, but then I took a deeper sniff and I kind of understand what he means by that. And in the dry down, uh, when it smells now, uh, it reminds me a little bit of uh, this uh, vibe from Orto Parisi, Seminalis. Mm. Uh, this sweet uh, gourmand aspect with a lot of animalics, mm. which I also get from Orto Parisi Seminalis. Yeah. So it's kind of this uh, uh, strange mix of uh, different perfumes. But I think it works here. If you like animalic shippers, I think you would uh, really enjoy it. Or if you love Shalimar, also Shalimar have this uh, animalic dirtiness in it. Okay, so Dmitri suggested that we have to read out the notes. Yeah, we would I'm love not to. sure if you guys would follow here because <laughs> there is a huge list of notes. Like. So, I'll, I'll read it out for you, I don't know if it's going to tell you anything about this fragrance, but uh, let's do this. Top notes are Brazilian orange, clary sage, geranium, Italian bergamot, lime, mandarin orange, nutmeg, orange blossom, rosemary, tangerine. Hard notes are Bulgarian lavender, chamomile, damask rose, gardenia, heliotrope, hyacinth, iris, jasmine sambac, Madagascan ilang ilang, neroli, Omani frankincense, rosewood, tonka bean, tuberose. Base notes are ambergris, uh, castorium, civet, uh, cypriol, gaiac wood, gorgium balsam, musk, oak moss, orris root, patchouli, sandalwood, Spanish labdanum, starex, vanilla, and Virginia cedar. So, a lot of notes here, but um, it's very important that we've uh, shared what we actually smell <laughs> because yes. uh, by reading these notes um, I would never ever think that this would smell like it does. By reading the notes I would say it's a shipper definitely uh, but uh, it has a lot of animalics in yeah. the base. A lot of animalics. Yeah, you if, know, you, if you don't love animalic fragrances then I think it won't be for you. Yeah, because civet, uh, ambergris, castorium, castorium, yeah. Mm. They are quite uh, prominent here. And by the way, uh, I think all of these fragrances are amazing uh, price uh, quality. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, 
these uh, four uh, costs, uh, each one of them from around uh, 70 to 90 dollars uh, for this uh, 30 ml bottle. Yeah, I think it's great. It's a great price for these uh, compositions, for the blending, for the ingredients, for the performance, projection, longevity, everything is fine here. I think it's great. Yeah, uh, very good price point. Yeah, I would love to have uh, three of these bottles, three nice ones. Yeah. yeah. Uh, sadly, it's uh, Tsai is discontinued. Uh, so the next one is uh, Paradise. Mm -hmm. oh. When I first sprayed it, I immediately thought of uh, some artisanal rose wood fragrance. And uh, what I smelled uh, from this genre is uh, reminded me the most of uh, Ud Maximus by Vortnikov. It also has a lot of natural agar wood in the opening, uh, a lot of rose, different type of roses, I guess. It has a lot of different other florals, like in Ud Maximus, yeah. It's, it has some bright elements like uh, citruses, like also Ud Maximus has. Some spiciness, it's uh, quite green, actually it's very green. Mm -hmm. it's, it has also kind of this uh, sheeper vibe from it. He almost done this rose wood with the uh, sheeper style. Yeah. I don't know how to describe it. It has uh, uh, quite a lot of leather in the heart of the composition after about uh, four hours uh, from spraying. Yeah, The beautiful leather here. I love this fragrance. I think it's amazing. I would immediately buy it uh, for this price point yeah, because I love this genre and I think it's absolutely wonderful smelling and uh, blended. Yeah. I don't know if if it's still available. Yeah, but uh, I think you uh, you should uh, write or I should write uh, to the owner of the brand uh, through Instagram, which I don't have. <laughs> so I I don't know how to do that. You can register. Yeah, probably. Just uh, I should register into Instagram just to buy some of these uh, fragrances, I guess. Yeah, so I also really enjoy this fragrance. To me it's like a, a woody woody rose uh, composition with some green facets. Like the road is also like tangy, a bit lemony, maybe I smell some geranium as well. So. To me, it's a beautiful uh, composition. Um, I, I can't say that it's something groundbreaking because um, uh, I've smelled something similar in the original Dare or Bortnikov. And actually, when I smelled this fragrance, Dmitri, I told uh, Dmitri, like, is that the rich <laughs> original Dore? Uh, but it wasn't. So, you know, the quality here is outstanding. And uh, for this price, and uh, by the way, it costs around, it's the most expensive from these four, it costs uh, a little bit less than $90, I believe, yeah. for 30 mil. So it's great. Absolutely wonderful, yeah. Yeah, so it smells amazing, uh, totally unisex. Uh, there is no sweetness here to my nose. It has a touch of sweetness. Maybe just a, a tiny little bit. So yeah. For rose, uh, woody woody lovers, I think it's it, a great choice. It has a lot of uh, different wood types also, and uh, uh, they don't smell here. Uh, Animalic or of pudding. Barnyard or of pudding at all. Yeah. Uh, it smells... For some people maybe a little bit challenging, but, but for me absolutely not. No, I don't see if, it if, if you love fragrances like Wood Maximus or Strange Love NYC, uh, Dead of Night, which I also have this tiny 15 ml bottle, which costs 199 euros for 15 ml, uh, twice uh, less than here, and uh, costs a couple of times more. Mm, yeah? That's crazy. So yeah, that's uh, crazy pricing, but I love Dead of Night. 
I'm always, you know, pleasantly surprised that uh, some perfume brands are able to deliver great quality, fantastic smells, um, interesting compositions, good or even great longevity, amazing sillage, natural smelling ingredients, and for a lower price point. That's just fantastic, you know? <laughs> yeah, actually, I, I was quite shocked when I tried these fragrances. Everything is amazing here. I think value for money is absolutely... Fantastic. Fantastic, yeah. Uh, let's, uh, let, uh, let, no. let's uh, read the notes, please. Yes, please. It, oh, it actually, it, it you also... wanted to say that uh, after three hours you uh, smelled the leather. Quite a lot of leather, yeah, I told it. Oh, okay, sorry. And uh, it also has a lot of notes. Yes, let me just check it that. Yeah, that's the one, Paradise. So, top notes are bergamot, berries, bourbon, geranium, cardamom, coffee, lemon, taif rose. Hard notes are Bulgarian rose, cocoa, gardenia absolute, iris, jasmine sambac, Madagascan ylang ylang, Mysore sandalwood, Philippine oud, Spanish labdanum, Turkish rose, violet, and the base notes are Assam oud, benzoin, birch, Cambodian oud, coffee absolute, guayac oud, musk, patchouli, tobacco absolute, tonka bean, and vetiver. I mean... So, also a lot of notes, and by the way, this uh, as a composition smells uh, very complex, very deep, uh, very interesting, and uh, I can also pick up uh, different notes from it, mm -hmm. which I was pleasantly surprised. And I love that in this composition. Yeah, Bulgarian rose. It also has a lot Taif of ro rose. types of roses, yeah. Yeah, this lemony. Tur Turkish yeah. rose. Turkish rose. It also has lemon and geranium. Yeah. Yes. So it has this uh, like wait, 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 green did... green rosy smell uh, yeah. also. Yeah, green I said and that lemon. I get geranium. And I also get uh, this green, uh, rosy smell from Wood Maximus, and I love that. Mm. All right, that's beautiful. Uh, okay, the next one is uh, our subscriber's Pavel's favorite from this. It's uh, in the full bottle. It's Vetiver Royal, and we also really love this fragrance. Uh, I think it's uh, the most uh, uh, projecting one out of all of them. It's very green, very aromatic, spicy. Uh, what you wear here is rich, dense, very complex. Here is uh, three types of uh, yeah, Java vetiver. Uh, Haitian and uh, Malaysian, I believe. Oh, it smells so natural, so so deep. Fantastic. So yes, a lot of different. Quite things. quite dark, I would say. Yeah. Mm. It's not your typical uh, French style uh, vetiver, which reminds you of uh, fresh cut grass. This airy, no, not at all. It's um. It's more deep. It's got different um, kind of notes mixed in. It's a little bit spice as well. I, I... Vetiver here, yes, is a little bit uh, unusual as uh, we get in European perfumery, I agree. I would say it also has this uh, shipper style mm -hmm. of perfumery with a lot of vetiver. It's a grown up kind of yeah. vetiver fragrance. It's very classy, very sophisticated. Yeah, and I enjoy it, it, it gives me a lot of energy when I wear it. You know? Yeah. I want to move to do something. I love uh, a good vetiver fragrance, as you know, and I'm enjoying this one a lot. Sometimes I even like, you know, uh, when vetiver is solo, but uh, I like it how it plays here in this composition, and I like the supporting notes. It's beautiful. And um, 
Should I? Yes, please. And uh, by the way, it costs uh, around $70 for this bottle. All right, that's good. Top notes are Java vetiver, lemon, bergamot, tangerine, orange blossom, black pepper, nutmeg, and green tea. Hard notes are neroli, gardenia, jasmine sambac, French iris, lapdanum, java vetiver. Base notes are tobacco, osmanthus, myrrh, musk, civet, patchouli, oak moss, sandalwood, cedarwood, Malaysian vetiver, Haitian vetiver, amber, leather, and tonka bean. So a beautiful, beautiful pyramid. Yeah, I, I would agree that it has some uh, aromatic uh, green tea smell in it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very green, spicy, woody, aromatic, uh, fantastic. Love it. Yes, it's great. Uh, it's definitely bottle worthy. Absolutely. And uh, I would love to have a bottle, but uh, sadly, uh, on Parfuma it says it's apparently discontinued, and uh, on uh, uh, Prahar's Instagram uh, also it uh, says it's sold out. Okay. So our subscriber is a very lucky person that he blind bought them, you know, uh, uh, from India. Uh, the last one is Gentleman. And it's my favorite. Oh, man, I love the style. If you love a fragrance by Rock Perfumery Mousse Illuminé, I would highly recommend you to try this one. I get some similarities. I get this uh, barber shoppy oak moss vibe. Uh, from them both, which I absolutely love. I think it's a cheaper fragrance with uh, a lot of uh, uh, fougere, barber shoppy uh, accords in it. It smells like a proper gentleman from 19th century, I guess, with this uh, yes. cylinder, with this in a suit, mm. you know. Yeah, with a vest and a suit, like proper when, when, outfit. When, when he speaks without any bad words, like nowadays. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, something classy. All right, so sometimes I'm not really into these kind of um, um, fragrances, like the, the genre itself. Um, but here. I have to say that this fragrance is uh, giving me all uh, the the beautiful, um, sophisticated um, uh, fragrance for men. Well, you know, there's lavender. You know, this kind of a little bit like aftershave barber shop kind of vibe also, which sometimes I'm not a fan of. But here, all the notes are like so natural smelling because in many many or most of other fragrances that I've smelled that are in this genre they almost always have this uh, synthetic kind of smell you know like because uh, in, in the aftershave you get you get this synth synthetic kind of smell yes. in fragrances as well but here it's as if uh, this is uh, all natural yes and that's what I love about it. And when I smell this fragrance, I'm getting something new all the time. Yeah, it's it's, it's so rich and complex. It, it has a lot of beautiful and very natural smelling citruses in the opening. Mm. A lot of lavender I also yeah. get from this composition. It has a beautiful uh, floral heart, a lot of different florals. It has a uh, labdanum, it has uh, oak moss in the base. I think it's a wonderful shipper. Uh, uh, with the uh, fougere mixed. This is truly together. beautiful, and uh, I really enjoy that. In this uh, classy, sophisticated style, I also absolutely love uh, Nicolai 
New York Intense. I wanted to say yeah. something about this fragrance. It also has something yes. uh, from this fragrance. I absolutely love Nicolet New York, New York Intense. Intense. Yeah. If you love this kind of fragrances, Mousse Luminaire or Rock Perfumery, uh, even Chypre Siam. Chypre Siam is a little bit... Chypre Siam is a little different though. Yeah, but it's delicious. <laughs> I it's like uh, it's also a great shipper, but this uh, very classy gentleman. So yes, a very beautiful smelling composition. If you're into this genre, I think it's a must try. I cannot recommend this fragrance for women because it's just very very um, manly, masculine smelling, you know. But so so beautiful. It would be amazing on a man. For for me, it's a very attractive smelling. Yeah. On a, on a man. Yeah. Yeah. I think this one could be easily could be someone signature scent. Yeah. 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 Uh, as like a vetiver real also signature scent. Definitely. Worthy. This one is my favorite. Yeah. Uh, gentleman. Uh, and I also really love Paradise and uh, Vetiver Real. I, I don't know why, which I love more. I love them both. I love all three of those that Nidri just yeah. mentioned, but I'm not going to rank them because I did not wear them on my skin. So... I think these uh, all are fantastic, uh, but uh, Tsari is a little bit challenging. Tsari uh, is not my cup of tea on, on at those all. Animatics. At all, not yeah. my cup of tea. Well, uh, uh, the notes of Gentleman, uh, the top notes are Amalfi Lemon, Italian Bergamot, Green Lime, Bulgarian Lavender, Heart Notes, uh, Rosemary, or Orange Blossom, Absolute, Jasmine Grandiflorum, Absolute, Lilo of the Valley, Champaka, Heliotrope, Absolute, Mimosa, Absolute, uh, Cassie, Absolute, and the base notes are Green Tea, Absolute, also Green Tea like in uh, Vetiver Real. Uh, coriander, holy basil from Tamil Nadu. I don't know what that uh, that is. Uh, black pepper, anise seed, Indonesian patchouli, Okmas absolute, Virginian cedarwood, carrot seed, tonka bean, juniper berry, Spanish labdanum, Madagascar vanilla absolute, Starax, orris root, birch, castorium, leather, ambergris and musk. It's so aromatic. It, Gorgeous. It has also quite a lot of uh, Animalic notes, yeah, but this one doesn't smell animalic to my nose. No. Uh, I believe this animalis gives us uh, uh, depth and uh, so. all, overall uh, uh, volume to this composition. Uh, boost the performance, maybe, yeah? Yeah, I agree. Uh, and the performance of all of these fragrances is fantastic. Uh, they all project, they all are long, long lasting. And uh, they smell very deep, rich, and uh, I just uh, love them. Yes, yes, I totally agree. I am pleasantly surprised uh, by the suffering, and uh, you know, I, I'm qu quite, uh, I'm positively shocked with the, the price point and how the fragrance smells and uh, how the perfumer managed to achieve high quality smelling fragrances. And it, it's uh, just beautiful. And you know what's the most interesting? He's a self thought perfumer. Wow, these are the best. Can you remember? These are the best. Can you imagine that? Yeah. Yeah. I think nowadays the, these uh, self thought artisanal perfumers are amongst uh, the most uh, unique, most creative, and uh, their fragrances uh, smell rich, complex, amazing, and uh, very high quality. Yes. Yeah? And so uh, natural. A special thanks to creator of uh, this brand and the, the fragrances. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, we really enjoyed that. And uh, thank you, Pavel, for providing us uh, and uh, with the opportunity to review these fragrances. That was quite a, an amazing experience. And uh, by the way, our subscriber, Pavel, uh, told me that uh, uh, on, owner of this brand, uh, Prakhar Gupta, uh, was uh, watching some of our videos. Oh, wow. Uh, previously, yeah. Okay. I was uh, pleasantly surprised. You that's, know? that's amazing. Thank you so much. So, if you're watching us, uh, thank you very much uh, for watching us and for creating these wonderful fragrances. Uh, 
Uh, I would love to smell a, a lot of more, uh, uh, more uh, other different uh, fragrances mm -hmm. from uh, this brand. I think uh, they are worth it, absolutely. But uh, very hard to get. Yes. You know? I, I'm going to look into if they have uh, any of the f floral, uh, more feminine kind of compositions. So I'm going to look into that and uh, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> uh, maybe someday we'll uh, uh, buy some of these uh, fragrances, if they will be available. And uh, we'll uh, then do a separate, different review. Yeah. Yes, and for today that was all. Thank you so much for watching us till the end. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Also, we're very interested if you have ever smelled any of um, fragrances from this fragrance house. How did you like them? Please uh, tell us your experience. And uh, we wish you an amazing day. Bye. Thank you, bye.